Thank you for choosing Bytorque Valve Automation's HT Series Fire Safe Fusible Link Valve Assembly with a ball valve. This assembly is designed for critical shutoff protection in piping systems conveying flammable gases and liquids, solvents, toxic fluids, generators, and propane lines, or any other potentially dangerous media. We use a state of the art design that allows for manual operation of the valve with a declutchable manual override once the fusible links are removed. The HT series consists of five main components the top plate arming device, fusible links, spring pack, declutchable manual override, and API 607 fire safe valve. A complete breakdown of parts is available on our website. Use caution when handling the HT series fusible link assembly since it has been shipped in the armed position with the spring pack under tension. Installing the link where high temperature fluctuations are possible, such as direct sunlight, is not recommended. Consistent exposure to high ambient temperatures can cause the fusible links to break prematurely. Never disassemble the spring pack or remove the casing on the clock spring for any reason. The clock spring is always under pressure and disassembly of the spring case could result in serious injury. Never operate the declutchable manual override with the fusible links installed. Doing so will damage the unit and render the links inoperable. In order to both arm and manually operate the valve, you will need to get an understanding of how our declutchable manual override works. It's important to note that the fusible links must be removed before operating the declutchable manual override. We'll go over the steps needed to install and remove the links later in this video. Do not attempt to operate the declutchable manual override until you have watched this entire video. Use one hand to grab the override's engagement handle, squeezing both the bottom and top handles together. With the handle still squeezed together, move the handle from its disengaged position up toward the spring pack mounting flange until the lock tabs are in line with their locking positions. Once the handle is in the locked position, the override is ready for use. Clockwise rotation of the hand wheel will move the valve toward the closed position. Counterclockwise rotation moves the valve toward the open position. Now that we've reviewed basic declutch operation, let's take a look at how they work with our fusible link assemblies. HT series assemblies with ball valves are shipped in the armed and open position with the declutchable manual override in the engaged position. All HT series assemblies with ball valves are shipped with a red safety link. This safety link must be removed and replaced with the fusible links after the valve has been put in line. If the safety link is not removed, the fusible link will not operate correctly. Always install the valve in the pipeline and secure to the valve flanges before proceeding. The units will be armed after following these easy steps. Make sure the D-clutch is engaged. Then slowly turn the D-clutch hand wheel counterclockwise to reduce spring tension on the links. Then remove the retaining nuts either by hand or using an open-ended wrench. Take off the red safety link and put the fusible links back in place. Secure the fusible links with the retaining nuts. Do not over tighten the nuts. Over tightening the nuts will stress the links and could result in improper functioning. Once the tension is held by the links, disengage the declutch gear. The hand wheel should now spin freely. Once the declutchable manual override is disengaged, the unit is now armed. It's important to note that if the gear is left in the engaged position, the valve will not spring close when the fusible links break. Failure to properly disengage the unit voids any warranties. Please note that once the links are in place and the declutch disengaged, you cannot manually operate the valve again until the links are removed and the declutch engaged. If you need to operate the valve, engage the declutch gear and turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the tension on the links is removed. Then remove the retaining nuts. Once the nuts are removed, take off the fusible links. Then turn the hand wheel clockwise to move the valve toward the closed position. Upon completion of operating the valve manually, return the valve to the open position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. It's important to note that the unit is not armed until the links have been properly reinstalled and the D-clutch disengaged. Failure to properly reinstall the links or disengage the gear 
will void any warranties on the product. Our fusible link manufacturer recommends annual replacement of the links as part of a regular maintenance schedule. Contact your local distributor or buy torque valve automation for replacement links. Refer to both the model number and serial number when ordering replacement parts.